try and set a world record, set a world best, and uh, try and have a great race. A case in point has been Carlos Lopes and the search to get him in this race. After a convoluted bidding war, Chicago offered Lopes a reported $35,000 guarantee and received a commitment. New York offered $75,000 and Lopes wavered, but stayed when Chicago raised its offer to 50. When Rob DiCostello went to Chicago for reported 35 grand, the marathon wars were on. That's great. It's great for the marathon. It's good, it's good for the sport. Um, only difference is uh, New York raised the stars and Chicago has to buy them. Basketball players get paid a lot and football players make a lot and that uh, baseball players are paid well. There's no reason why a world-class marathon runner cannot be paid the same way. They have to work as hard. The boom had arrived, and this year, Chicago was in the forefront. When Bright pulled in names like Simeon Keegan and Ingrid Christensen to round out a powerhouse field, the scales had tipped. Bright had his names, but had tampered with tradition. I feel that this race is a much more competitive race that appeals to nitty-gritty road racers, and I think that New York is a media event. New York Marathon is the Super Bowl of all marathons. There may be other even games in, the, in football that are sometimes played better, but nothing compares to the excitement of the Super Bowl. I think that writing's on the wall that, uh, that New York will move to the spring. <laughs> You're not going to move? No. Bob Bright has suggested Fred LeBeau take his marathon and move it to the spring. Well, I wouldn't even dignify it into an answer. <laughs>